Okay, now there's a lot of talk on YouTube and the net about accents, lots of actors and people showing off how uh, different voices they can do, trying to pinpoint this accent over that, American versus British. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, what I call the accent spectrum of a flight between London over the Atlantic to an island called Bermuda, and then what we're going to do is fly to the eastern seaboard of the United States. I'm going to take you through South London, sort of street voice, through to the middle class diction, to what we call received pronunciation, or RP, and keep that RP thing going in Bermuda, take it down to street level in Bermuda, back to RP, North American style, and then onto the streets of the US of A and Canada. So, right now, I'm in a generic South London accent. Obviously, I'm talking with a bit of a monotone, but if you want to get real, like, for example, if you want to be like my nephews who call me their uncle and they ask me, am I going to come down to the football today? And have I seen the telly? For example... They don't even use the, the letter L. If, if they're talking to their mate Walter, they'll say, hey, Walter, do you want a glass of water? You know what I mean? It's like that. So it, it, it depends on the sort of place in society they're at. Now, if they were to go to the bank, for example, they'd be going to the bank and they'd be saying, listen, rather than, hey, you're doing you all right, mate? You're doing all right there, bank manager? You're looking, you're looking right proper today. Instead of talking like that, what they're going to do, what they're going to do is change their voice a little bit and act a little bit more serious. And I'll be saying to the bank manager that, well, look, I need to borrow some cash because me and my missus, we're making an extension on our house. And I know I'm not exactly middle class, but I'm sounding a little bit, you know, a bit more organised in the way I think, just by the way I'm talking. And we could use a bit of a loan. Can you do us a favour and maybe spot the difference for us on this bit of a building trip that we've got going on and now the bank manager is going to listen to this and he's going to think hmm that that sounds like a south london accent and me being middle class and me having an ear i can tell that you could really use a leg up but not to sound too judgmental bank manager turns on the RP and all of a sudden starts to scrutinise the risk involved in giving this money, this money for a building extension, to someone with a South London accent. I don't know what you would do, but this bank manager decides otherwise he's not going to cross every T and dot every I on this application. He's going to take the money and he's going to take that money. He's going to go to an old British colony called Bermuda flying out of Heathrow, and when he lands in Bermuda, airports out near St. George, he's going to hear people speaking in a tongue that's been there for 400 years, and it is very similar to the RP accent of Britain, but of course they are putting a little of what is Bermuda, and in Bermuda you will hear these people talk, they've been, they've been, they've been speaking that way for, as I said, 400 years, and if they have a bit of money in their pocket and they've been to overseas universities, obviously they've got influences of other diction, but there is very much a strict Bermudian received pronunciation. Notice how I'm crossing my T's and I'm dotting my I's. Whereas if you head out the door and go to the back of town and you stand at the bus stop and listen to the buyers waiting for the bus, they're going to have a completely different way of talking and it's nothing like the way I'm sounding at the start of this conversation. So as you can hear on the streets of Bermuda, they got the kind of West Indian influence and plus the North American twang. Almost from Virginia, because a whole bunch of people from Virginia stayed in Bermuda, changed the way people talk. Also, there's the influence of the Portuguese people that are in Bermuda. And if you listen to someone from Brazil try to speak English, you will hear there is a similarity. But meanwhile, let's get on the plane. If you get on the plane, you will hear a aircraft pilot talk to you in a very enunciated voice about where you're going and how it's a great day to fly. And this is received pronunciation North American style. Now, if you were to walk into a bar and talk this way, I don't know how many people are really going to relate to you. For example, if I say Toronto or can you please order me a Manhattan? I don't know if anyone in the world ever says the word Manhattan, even though dropping the T is not necessarily a North American characteristic. We say Manhattan. And again, now you hear me, I'm not talking in RP, I'm talking in more relaxed, freestyle, North American speech. Northeast 
Seaboard, Boston, Philadelphia, New York. If you don't know where I'm from, it's because it's generic. I haven't said the key words that pinpoint exactly where I'm from. For example, certain people will say forest. Other people say, let's go for a walk in the forest. Or other people are heading to Chicago, whereas me, I'm heading to Chicago and Montreal and Toronto. Otherwise, Back to South East London, you know what I mean? Montreal Expos, represent, represent, yeah, I figured it out, figured it out.